morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. It is a Tell the Truth Wednesday. I'm your host, Mike Barra in Las Vegas, Nevada, joined as I always am twice a week by the lovely lady with the lustrous hair, my co-host in Hayden, Idaho, Jennifer Fala, Doreen, Jen, Jen. How are you on this lovely day? I'm doing good. We have all kinds of free things to give away today. We do. We have free cool. We have cool free giveaway stuff. Simon mm -hmm. Parks just posted something. We're going to talk about Simon in a second. Wanted to do two things real quick before we went to Simon. Um, first of all, on Monday, if you were here, I told Jen I was having trouble with my eyesight for four or five days, and she said it's sinus pressure pushing on your eyes, increasing increasing the pressure in your eyes, and it's causing a problem. So I decided, since I have because of wonderful Dr. Brooks Agnew, I have some prednisone available to me without having to go through a doctor and all that stuff. And I took a little one pill dose of prednisone. Next day, the problem is gone. Okay. Because what the prednisone does is it not only reduces inflammation, which means the arthritis in my hands feels better. It reduces inflammation and it, it reduces the swelling and helps the sinuses drain. And Jen, I just wanted to tell you, you absolutely nailed, um, no broadcast in YouTube on Mike Barrett 333. I just got a message from Dave Barrett. Looks like we're broadcasting. Oh, no, Mike Barrett 3. It says it's sending data. Well, I can't I can't do tech support right now. I have a barking dog because there's Burger King for breakfast coming right now. Sorry about that. Live internet television. Anyway, Jen, I just wanted to tell you, you absolutely nailed that. Um, that uh, prognosis or diagnosis, and it, it seems to be working. I just took some Sudafed. The weather's changing here. It's it's cloudy and gray today, so um, you know. But I'm starting to feel better already, and my vision problem thing, the sort of blurry vision thing, cleared up right away. So uh, good. Thank you. Good. Say say thank you. And guys, you should trust her on her medical diagnoses. And you know, I I chose to treat myself with medications I already had, but you don't have to do that. But, you know, Jen, I just wanted to tell you thanks. And that really worked really well. The other thing is, is that I have a, um, I have a source that I trust a lot and I really like. And um, uh, last week, Thursday or Friday, he said, I, you know, we talked about the scenario where if the RV doesn't go, um, this by the end of December or by the end of November, then on December 1st, it was Iraq was going to go on their own. They were just going to go by themselves and create a lot of chaos in the world. And they didn't care anymore because they were ready to go. Um, and I said, how sure are you of that? And he said, 99.5%. Well, I checked in with him again last night and he said, I'm no longer 99.5% on Friday, December the 1st, but I'm a hundred percent on January 1st. So that's, in some ways disappointing, in some ways encouraging. Um, I, for me personally, Jen, I, I don't have a ton of DNR, but I have enough that if it came in at a buck, I'd say, here, change my life. You know, one dollar mm -hmm. here, cha change my life. Let me go buy a much bigger, nicer house, um, pay off all all remaining debts and be, you know, live happily ever after. Um, so I'm just ready for them to go. And, and it, so it's like, in one sense, I was really kind of hoping that maybe they would throw a, a spanner into the works, a monkey wrench into the machinery and just say, F you guys, we're going on our own. Uh, thank you. I have, I have my breakfast. Um, then the other thing that happened, obviously, is it was posted in our Telegram groups. Both of us were, people were freaked out about uh, Simon Parks coming on. And what he basically said was, was, oh, we've all been duped, suppose. This is what people are paraphrasing. I have not watched, yeah. but they're paraphrasing. We've been duped and uh, a whole bunch of the um, Dinar and Zim that's out there is counterfeit and isn't going to be worth anything. And you're, you're not going to be able to turn it in because it's counterfeit. Um, something along those lines. And I will just remind everybody before I turn it over to Jen, because Jen has a lot to say about this. Just will remind everybody... Um, that Simon, last, he claims, is under an NDA. He claimed this last spring. He's under an NDA. Anything he says about this, by definition, is a lie, okay? Because he can't tell you the truth. But 
we don't know that for a fact. So I'm going to let Jen, Jen did some readings on this, figured it out. Jen, I'm just going to let you go. So yesterday I did a reading on somebody and um, they asked me about it. I had not seen the video this morning. I did after the fact, after I got this information, was able to watch the video and I kind of have an idea of what was going on there. Um, okay. So initially I got that people are leaving connectors connecting consciousness with uh simon is trying to be present and to keep them there um and so it has something to do with that his opinion about um the whole thing and what rights people get and who would be considered worthy now um he did say something I, I wouldn't jump all over him for what he said. I, I, I mean, we really, at this point in time, I really need to take stop taking things at face value. Do what we do with the political side of it and, and look deeper. Okay. Um, so he believes only the big groups are going to get the big rates, um, what I got initially. And he wants his followers to believe that. So they'll stop leaving the group because, and my take on it, okay, well. If people in that group are invested and has given that church group a certain value to be on a certain tier, you don't want people leaving. Now, I don't know if that's a possibility, but the thought popped into my head. Today, I was able to watch it. The first thing that I got on the reading yesterday when she was talking about it was misinformation. Okay. Did not get excited about it. Did not get upset. I just feel like that a lot of that was misinformation. The other half was opinion. Um, so today I wrote down my thoughts so I would not forget. And so I'm basically just going to read through the text message I send myself because I do that. So I won't forget. Um, here we go. Okay. Now the thing that make people upset is that he was referring to a certain somebody that we believe would be Wolverine. Okay. Um, if Wooly was and, and was talking about how he was told to be quiet and how he's just putting out dates and misinformation and how that has held up the RV, I'm sorry, one person is not going to hold up a worldwide RV. Okay. Um, and think, let's think about it this way. Okay. If Wooly was told to be quiet because his dates and info are delaying the RV. Um, he would have had to be passing on accurate information, correct? If his info was false, why would anybody care? Why would it screw anything up? If it's misinformation, wouldn't it help conceal the truth about what's really happening? I think it would. Simon says he knows, um, who told him to be quiet and... If it was indeed the White Hats who told him to be quiet, told Wolvie to be quiet, then he must be on to something. Um, let's think about it. Why are there levels of clearance in the military? Why are there levels of clearance in business, in government, in any large organization? There are people at the front who know nothing and there are people at the top who know everything. Okay, because it controls the flow of information. Each level is given info on a need to know basis and misinformation is thrown in to create confusion and conceal the truth. All right, if you're at the top of a, a large company and you know there's layoffs coming in two weeks or a month, you don't tell the guys at the bottom because you need no. them to work for two weeks no. or two and months. It goes back to the, the quote I've said before from Wayne Williott, also known as 107, when he was our source for Dark Mission to Secret History of NASA, me and Richard C. Hoagland. The lie is different at every level. That's exactly what you're talking about. You just tell people what they need to know. Okay. Now, Simon only knows info that is needed for what he is signed up to do. If an individual's voice becomes too popular, misinformation may be fed to that individual to undermine the trust of the pub that the public has in them. 
so that they do not reveal any kind of secret plan. Uh, we've seen that happen with two of the biggest RV voices, Simon and Charlie Ward. Uh, why would Simon sign, another thought, why would Simon sign an NDA and what would it be about? Well, he's involved in humanitarian projects. He's involved with these big church groups. He's, that's his level. He's involved with uh, the med bed rollout and, and the centers and all that. And I believe that's true. Okay. So the information that he has is only going to be about that. And so if he has no information about the average man getting a good rate on their Zim or a good rate on their DNR and believes because he does not have that information that it's not going to happen, he's not at that level. He's at a different level. It's all need to know. He has exactly what he needs to proceed. Now, four NDAs he said he has. And I believe him. I'm not saying he is lying in any way. Uh, this is, I believe, and if he is under four NDAs, what can he really come out and talk about? He can give his opinion. He can uh, point out something that he thinks is the problem, in his opinion. Like somebody like Wolverine putting out the wrong dates and things like that. Were they wrong? Um. So four NDAs could be possibly could possibly be rates on um, four different types of currencies or bonds that his group would receive, and the process to get that accomplished. Um, his process may not go to a redemption center, probably not. Okay, so why would he need to know about the process in a redemption center or whether they exist at all? You know, Mike and I seem to know people who seem to know people who seem to know people who own redemption centers. So it doesn't mean that redemption centers do not exist and the average man cannot go in with their collection and do some business. Remember, <clears throat> let's address the claim that there are fraudulent um, notes out there. Yeah. various kinds okay i believe simon's message was to the people that have these and not us okay you want to look deeper don't get emotionally involved in it take a step back for a second let's read through the lines let's look through the lines and see what what we really have here all right so we know he's got ndas he's not gonna come out there and tell everybody well guess what there's no RV and we're the lucky ones. And the only ones who get to do it are the people in my group or other groups. That's not true. That's not true. Um, so first of all, there is a selfish intent there when people are leaving connected consciousness to reassure them that this is the best place for you to be. Okay. Um, I just forgot. What was I talking about, Mike? We're talking about the NDAs and whether Simon was in a special group that had special rates. And um, he's just trying to keep people from leaving his organization because he's on a, you know, he's, he's signed some agreement. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. And I, I want to say there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. This is his thing. This is what he does. He's got to have his people. They're all on the same page. They're all moving together. So he's going to come out and do a private uh, video for his people. Pep talk, keep everybody in line. Oh, now I want to talk about the worthy and the um, fraudulent currencies and bonds. And things oh, right, like okay. that. I believe he was speaking to people on the bad side who would be holding quite a bit of this and letting them know because if you take a listen to the video, he told the story that there were plates that were confiscated and found that were used. Okay. So if there were plates, they have the numbers. They have the serial numbers of the fake ones and you're not going to get away with it. And I think that was his roundabout way of telling people that, but then everybody flipped the hell out and thought, Oh my God, what if my stuff is, is fake? Okay. Well, when most of us have purchased our collection from places that send you a certificate of authenticity. 
Okay, you're fine. You're fine. I think that that part of it was just addressing, kind of sending a message out to the, hey, you're not going to get away with that. Okay. Um, and we know there's a lot of people that are going to try this. And maybe that has been some of the delay. But we know you're out there. We got the numbers. You're not going to get away with it. But the rest of us all here in the in the gallery just kind of went, huh? What? Yes, of course, there's going to be fraudulent things out there. There's going to be fraud. There's going to be things like that. They're going to be looking like that. I don't believe he meant that only 10, 10% of those who want to RV are going to be judged on whether they're worthy to do so or not. Okay, so if I want to go on a trip and I go to one of these dealers and buy some currency and have it on hand, thinking someday I'm going to go on this trip, whatever. And then um, I have it on hand and the RV happens and I'm like, well, I never really went on that trip. I think I'm going to go exchange it back to what I originally had. They're going to tell me I'm unworthy to do so? No. That's ridiculous. The only ones that are going to, going to be deemed unworthy to do so are the people that are trying to commit fraud. And I think that was a message from him telling everybody we know who you are or what, what, the, what the numbers are. And if you try that, you're going to get in the way. Yeah. I mean, I think that the obvious play on that would be to uh, try to confuse the situation at the opening of the RV uh, exchanges by flooding the market with a bunch of counterfeit. Therefore, they would have to stop the process and they can hopefully try to scuttle the whole thing, which is another reason why I say don't listen to these shitheads like TNT Tony. Who, oh, just sit back and wait. And make your appointment. No, get in there in the first 15 minutes if you can. And get the exchange done and get your stuff confirmed. That's that's my right. That's what I'm going to do. Well, yeah, because of somebody could screw it up. If it, if it happens at 9.59 on Monday or Wednesday and I'm supposed to be on with Jen, I'm just going to call Jen. Sorry, I'm going to the exchange center. I'll catch you later. You're not going to see me until it's done. Okay. <laughs> Make it in. Um, so get, in, get in early and get it off. Another thing is he quotes that he met with the Chinese elders and military intelligence, and they told him eight years ago how everything's going to go. Really. He met with Chinese elders because he wanted to do the MedBed thing, or they asked him to do the MedBed thing, or however it transpired. That's all they talked about. That's all they talked about was humanitarian projects, how to do it, how it's going to look like for him. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't sit down and tell him all the entire plan. They didn't sit down and give him all the intelligence that it, eight years ago, things have changed. They bobbed and weaved and pivoted to get this done. Okay? And, and remember, I have another guy who is known to this audience who was told about it in 1995 and that it was going to happen in 2023. And we're still tripping. on track for that. But yeah. that wasn't... He wasn't briefed on all the details. He was just told about what the RV was going to be, how to profit from it, what to tell people about it, and that 2023 was the target. So mm -hmm. so I'm yeah. not saying that Simon Parks is coming out there upsetting everybody and telling you everything's crap and you're not worthy and only 10%, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is everyone's opinion. This is misinterpretations from what he said that everybody's coming at us with. Okay, and so this is how I'm trying to explain it. Simon is telling you what he knows from his point of view, and he's at a different tier than us. He's got a different um, responsibility responsibility than us. Yeah, and so he's going to only know what's important information for him to know, and then the rest of it's going to be his opinion from what he's heard and what he's gathered, just like the rest of us. Um, nobody's going to know everything. The process uh, is called compartmentalization. That's how you reverse engineer UFOs without telling people what they're working on. Now, back to my original thought was, if Simon believes that Wolvie is delaying the process by reporting what he's heard, then what he is reporting must have some truth in it. Um, what do you do if you feel like you're in a, you know, a place of responsibility with this whole thing. What do you do if you feel like the truth is delaying the process? You put out misinformation. Okay. 
We've seen that with Phil. We've seen it with all the truthers. We've seen it over and over again. Um, it's just kind of coincidental that, you know, Simon's been pretty quiet. Why would you publicly put out a notice that you're going to privately inform your group of something? You know it's going to get out to everybody. Very clever, Jen. Very clever observation on your part. Why did he make a big deal of, oh, you can come do listen to my update? And the other, you know, I either thought, I'm not in it. This is, this is perfectly good business. Okay. Mm -hmm. If the group is exchanging or redeeming their monies and bonds under an umbrella of con connecting consciousness, he would have to maintain the belief within his organization that you cannot get big rates or humanitarian funds on your own. Um, stay with us and don't leave the group. Every religion, every group or club wants you to believe that they know the way. That theirs is the only way. Why? Simon says his group is free, but he, but would he be in this uh, in this tier of redemption without the funds that come to make that dollar amount to qualify to be in that thing? So he's not doing anything wrong. It's good business. So there's many things going on here, but you put out. You put out a public notice that you know, this is private. Don't listen to this. Nobody share it. Okay. <laughs> Why not just con connect and tell your group leaders, hey, we got a private notice. It's going to go out to everybody. Put out a memo, whatever. Do a short video. But why do a public and then say, well, I'm sorry, you can't hear it because you're not part of the. Because one thing, they want people to join Connecting Consciousness because they're losing people because of probably lack of activity, lack of interest. Two. They want people to feel special and to stay there and to tune in. Three, he wants the misinformation to leak out to those who are watching, who aren't supposed to be watching, who will come about that information when they're not supposed to. So many things going on. He's not a bad guy, okay? Um, who knows? And I had another thought. If he knows who told Wolvie to be quiet, and Wolvie's done videos with Charlie? Are they in cahoots? Are they, you know, playing ball together? I mean, are they, are they, you know, okay, Wolvie puts this out and then they have a talk with Wolvie and they're like, all right, we'll go out and put out some information because you, you probably wouldn't, shouldn't have said that. And now it's kind of creating a problem. So we're going to demonize you for a little bit and then you'll come back around and everything will be fine. So, you know, we have witnessed so many things like this with the political side of it over the years. But then as soon, you know, as soon as we're really personally involved with the financial part of it, somebody comes out and says, everybody panics. Oh, my God, it's not real. Oh, my God, my stuff is fake. Oh, my God, I'm not worthy. Listen, <clears throat> these people at these exchange centers, why would you own an exchange center? Because you're going to make money off of this. Right. They're making money off of you. They don't care. If if you cheated on your boyfriend 10 years ago and broke his heart, whatever, they don't care. Yeah, right. All they care is that you have legitimate currency. And you're not a criminal. The right ID. Mm -hmm. And they don't really have a say in what you're doing with it unless you're asking for more money to do a humanitarian project. Let's talk about people who are doing humanitarian projects. Most of them are of good intent. There's a lot of them, and I talk to a lot of people who are doing it because they think they're going to get more money. Okay? Those people will probably weed out. All right? So what I'm getting from this you want you want to round the whole thing up um we're close mm -hmm. we're really close because if he put out misinformation right now see okay so if Wolvie's telling you dates okay and nobody come and kill me because i'm really just asking questions here i'm just we're having a, we're having a conversation okay, <laughs> okay. now if Wolvie's put out dates and getting everybody all worked up and then Simon comes out, we know there's connection to Simon. 
We know that through Charlie. What did Charlie and Simon do when they wanted everybody to stop listening to them for a while when they started signing all these NDAs? Oh, it's not until 2024. Everybody hated them. And then everybody stopped listening. Okay? Right. right. So now they're going to make everybody hate Wolvie. So they'll stop listening to him. Because he probably got too close to the situation. They're like, hey, we're right there. You can't do that. Don't worry. Simon's going to do a thing. And we're going to get it all worked out. All right? So my only point here is not giving out any dates. I'm not doing anything to stop the process because I want to be a team player. But you need to take a step back and get your emotions in control and take a look at what Simon's trying to do here. Okay? I don't see it as him, big bad guy, coming out telling you you're all unworthy and you're not going to get it. And blah, 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 blah. I don't see it that way. I see something going on behind the scenes. And what that tells me is we're close. So keep the faith, pray it in, and no worries. Okay? Wow. Okay. That's why there's 750 of you watching this live stream <laughs> right now. Thank you for being here. So you can get that information. Yeah, that you. I think you sorted it all out. And here's the thing. Okay. I, I'm going to just state this in front of you and God and Jesus and everybody. I don't care about the big rates. I want them. And if that means, oh, you're going to give me more on my Zim if I let you use the rest of the funds for the humanitarian projects of your choice, sure, I'll sign off on that. But can you focus on this, you know, medical health and the space program and the electrical grid and a few things that I think are, are the most important humanitarian projects? Great, go ahead, spend my money on that. No problem, I'll sign up for it if you're going to give me more to do to do with my businesses. But it's like, and I'm not saying I don't want them, guys, the big the big rates. I'm saying I don't care. If, if I get a dollar for my dinar and 47 cents, am I frozen? You're kind of pixelated in there. Every fucking day. I hate Cox Cable. I hate you so fucking much. Okay, are we there? Are we back? And that's probably they're, they're messing with you and not me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but if I, you know, a buck for my Dino, 40 and, and the low rate of 11 cents, $11 million per Zim note, I'm fine. You know, there's a certain m number I have in my head, which is all I need to feel like to feel like I'm rich for the rest of my life and live my life and write my books and self-publish them and hire a public uh, publicist to help me get the word out. And just, you know, there's a lot of things I can do with the so-called low rates. Would I like to be able to finance the next four Star Trek movies and, and write them the way I want to write them? Sure. That's even better. I'll take that tier also happily. Would I like to have enough money to buy the Seahawks and fix them? Yes. But I'm not counting on that. I'm just hoping that I can live very, very comfortably for the rest of my life. Take a private jet once in a while to Monaco, maybe go catch the Grand Prix. You know, lots of different things like that are within reach. So everybody freaks out because they're not going to get the, the, the super high rates. Well, well, okay. and I don't think people really understand how much money they're talking about. And the only thing I've really seen Simon talk about uh, uh, when it comes to rates is these, there are some people, you know, like my brother, who think they're going to have billions and billions and billions of dollars. It's okay? possible. But it is possible right depending on, on how much you have. But I think right. what he's trying to say here is that the people that talk about getting 50 million per Zim and they've got all these Zims, that may not be possible if you have like 200 of them, okay? Right, and you, you've said there's also a tier. Like the first 10 are going to pay at the highest rate, and then the others there's going to be a lower rate that they're going to pay at. So you're not going to necessarily get the same for each one. I believe that from what he was told about what his group rates will be because of his projects and because of what he is doing and the projects of the people within the group, I believe it is his opinion that those high Zim rates 
are for people in the church groups, for people in the humanitarian project groups Which and stuff like true. that. And that the average person will probably get a lower rate. But what I always got was like 11 million. Right. You know, so if they tell Off me. Off the bat. And then you submit for your humanitarian project. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to pay you out the face value for this. And then, and then, and you will, you'll be notified if your project is approved. And then, then we'll let you know how much you get in addition to that for that Zim. You know, so. So I think the only thing he's addressing is people who think they're going to have $200 million. And, and it's like, well, and I think with without coming out and saying it under NDA, he's saying, well, a lot of people are going to be disappointed because they think that, and he may know that those are group rates. Those are higher tier rates. Right. And so right. and, don't you know, hate Simon. I don't know the man personally. I'm just saying I saw it in a different way. Go back and watch it again. We have to take a look. He's been known to put out misinformation. Charlie's been known to put out misinformation. They are big uh, people within this whole thing and have been from the beginning, but they're not, they don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. Right. Okay. And it doesn't mean this is real and it doesn't mean you're not going to be able to redeem or exchange or whatever. And, or it doesn't mean everything you have is worthless. Most of what I have has a certificate of authenticity. If I was screwed, well, I'm going to have to eat it. Okay. I'm going to have to take it, but I don't think so. No, no. And remember that these places that you're buying from are all certified by the U S treasury as resellers. So there you go. So uh, it's very unlikely that you're being sold counterfeit. Right. Okay. Uh, and this uh, whole, okay. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. No, go ahead. No, this whole idea that somebody has to be of a certain, what oh, really pisses me off, has to be of a certain blood, bloodline, heritage, yeah. um, whatever, vibrational level. Yes. Yes. Got a little something in there, but that, that someone can actually test your vibrational level and who decides What's Who good knows Who's good your enough? intent? Who right. really does? God doesn't. Unless he's in the room. Right. Unless you want to compare. Let's compare vibrations and, uh, you know, let, let's 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 watch the whole story and let's see who's holier than thou. Right. And like what we the way what we like to say. And nobody time, knows. There's a fine line right. between. Right. Nobody knows how the money's going to change you. Sorry doesn't have anything to do with being worthy okay it has everything to do with having real currency real bonds and going through the process they're not going to sit there and question you about okay well did you call your mother lately you know i mean come on all right i'm done done i think you're frozen <laughs> And I don't know if I'm frozen. Just wait for it. He'll be back. Any day now. Can you hear me? Anyone? Okay, I'm fine. I am not frozen. Awesome. Well, what we were going to do the giveaways today. So let me just tell you what's going to go on. So wonderful people we have in the chats on Telegram. I mean, I, I rarely get a hater. I mean, people are so nice to me. And, and in our chats, they are so nice to each other. I mean, we got the, I don't even know how we got so lucky to have so many good hearted people in one place, but they started donating to give healing gift cards and reading gift cards away, even before I started asking them. Most of them want to remain anonymous, so I'm not going to put out the names, but I want to thank everybody for donating. Uh, we've got quite a few to give away today, and then we have a special prize just for me at the end uh, for somebody. And as soon as he is back, uh, we will get on with that. Unless he doesn't come back, and then I'll just do it. So, anyway, 
I don't think anybody should jump to the place where we're saying, oh, Simon's gone to the dark side and he's a bad guy and blah, blah, blah. No, I think that was strategic. I really do. Um. <laughs> now Mike's commenting. I don't know. We'll see if he can get back. All right, let's talk about Jesus. All right, it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so we'll see if he can come back. At this point in time, I can see your comment. So anybody wants to ask a question while we're waiting for him, I'll go ahead and do some free readings. Uh, see if I can get rid of this. I don't want to click on that. I might lose the page. Stop it. Who said that? You win. You win. God, I need the other glasses. Um, something 1970 said Mike can't get his cocks up. And <laughs> stop it. That is, you win for the day. You get a free healing for that. Email me. Go to jenniferfalaw.com. That's hilarious. No, Trump is not dead. Um, did the heart monitor I have zap me? Let me see, Glenn. Yeah, go in and get that thing checked. Go in and get it checked. Um, Lori Yoder, um, Will the inquiry hearing about Biden be how he is removed? Not quite and not quite yet, but interesting. Interesting. Um, what did I say on Telegram about that today? Let me go look. Not quite the most professional show today, but entertaining it, to say the least. Here we go. Remember when I got into, got him, hairs everywhere. Remember in the Gentile when um, I heard a female news anchor, like mainstream liar female news anchor, say, Joe Biden has been removed from office for failing to, and it trails off. Remember that? I thought of that today when I saw that post and them telling um, everybody about his corruption and connections and money laundering and everything else. Um, that video is posted on philosophy on Telegram. Um, and you can go watch it. I think the most interesting part of that was when he was talking about um, this is a national security threat of the highest level of government. That's what we need. That's the understanding we need to pull them out that way. Now, talks behind the scenes have been that there may be some kind of, and we've seen them setting up a scenario where he's just declining. So it may be a health situation. It may be something other than that. Mike's calling me. Let's mess with him. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Hi. I um, I, I can't, I, I, I can't see you on the stream. I, I don't know if I'm in the stream. It just keeps saying connecting. So, you want me to maybe read you questions from Rumble, and then you can answer some of those questions over the phone, or <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear them, but um. Yeah, we can do a few questions, or we can just get the giveaways. If you want to do the giveaways, yeah, you go ahead. I we're just I'm just all screwed up on this end. I don't know what's going on. Well, I don't know. This is what I'll it looks like. Can you see flash. that? Can you see the screen? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. You see that flashing? That means taking a picture of you all the time. <laughs> Bastards. Anyway, okay. All right. So let's do some readings uh, from Rumble, and then we'll get to the giveaways. Okay. okay. Let me slide over to Rumble because the little red castle folks. Um, Let me put you over here so they can be heard. Yeah, the little red castle folks, you know, they 
five dollar a month subscription and that really helps the uh channel so i'm going to go first to super daca pork chop uh who gave us a ten dollar rumble rant today thank you very mm -hmm. much super daca pork chop david jen this is david do you see me getting a house or condo in thailand next year hmm. david wants to know if he's getting a house or condo in thailand next year from that's rumble. right can everybody hear mike from my phone Seems like they seems like they can. Okay. Uh Gabriel. Yes, on the house or condo, the location is off just a bit. You might okay. find another place that is kind of like that that you like better. So it's not quite right. Maybe you'll end up in Cambodia. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Um Okay, now we seem to be frozen on Rumble. I don't know. All right, let me go through. Um, is Stephen Colbert really having health challenges right now? Or has he left TV for another reason? No. He's not having health problems. Oh, he's incarcerated. <laughs> I heard incarcerated. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, AJ Helfer says, love you guys, Mike. I'm currently reading The Triangle. Great book. I also have six others you've written. All very interesting. Well, thank you. You can pick those up on mikebarra.blogspot.com. And if you go pick them up through my blog, it actually gives me um, a little payout. So like a nickel or something. Um, Green Teakley's happy to catch a live show. Lucy says, hi, Jen and Mike, Little Red Castle. My granddaughter Madison is not eating well and complaining she has stomach problems. She is a teenager with anxiety. Is there more to her, her stomach problems besides the anxiety? There is. She wants to be as thin as possible. Um, she... I think stress is giving her um, acid at night, and so she's waking up in the morning nauseous. So you probably want to give her some Tums at night to keep that acid down while she's sleeping. But definitely take her in. Really want to make sure we don't have an ulcer brewing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with the anxiety. That mm -hmm. sounds like an ulcer. Um, Angel 64, Angel 0964, I don't have a certificate of authenticity with on any of my items. I'm going to ask you... I'm going to ask for you, are, is your currency, is Angel's 0964's currency okay and legitimate? Uh, for the most part, I believe so. Um, I wouldn't take my word for it, though. I mean, I don't know if there's any way you can check it out. Um, yeah. I would do that. Yeah, but uh, don't worry. Don't worry too much about that. Um, I, I think a lot of this is overblown. Gloria would like to know, Al, uh, my sister Alice and my friend Carol are driving from Wisconsin to Texas this weekend. Will they have a safe trip? They will. Where there's a problem, prepare. Give yourself more time. Make sure you got the right tires. Um, be prepared in case you get stopped, blankets, all kinds of stuff. Um Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kathy W says, Jen, my fingertips are very thin skinned and always cracking. Just recently, my palms have been looking chapter cracked. Uh, I would love to know what I can do to help this condition. Well, CBD Gurus Lotion 2000, I would recommend that as one possible possibility. But um, any advice for her beyond that? collagen start taking collagen too i think mark z has a deal with a collagen producer that's pretty good at it so maybe go look at mark's site <laughs> um joanne Patton, jen you mentioned there was a difference for years on boulevard year 2020 for 1 million in 2016 on ten thousand. what are the differences 0 0.375 is what you had mentioned before 
Uh, we don't know that details yet. That's Killer just. Cat always asked me to be so specific. Yeah, and I, we don't know. We don't know how, how um, they're going to be valued. The only really. thing I got, okay. And you know, it's I think believe it's a brown or or wheat colored note, and it says one million on it. Boulevard. Um, when I was asked on the show about that, I immediately got so how how many US how many dollars can um would you get from the Boulevard? One million, mm -hmm. and I got three hundred seventy five thousand. There you go. So that's all we can guess at right now. Um, Jen, this is Alice R. I'm still having problems with my eyes. The eye doctor said they're they were dry. Put in eye plugs, but they are. I think you mean you mean eye drops, Alice. Anyway, they're still hurting. Any advice? Yeah, eye for... plugs would hurt. Yeah. Um, let me see. Well, you're just really not producing the tears anymore on your own. Um, and sometimes I would get better, more eye drops that are more lubricating, that are like thicker, like a squishier, you know? Okay. Um, okay. Tracy says, I was in a three-car accident on 11-9 with two other vehicles. I'm sorry to hear that. I was rear-ended. I want to know what you see the outcome of the claim will be for my car. Okay, so insurance. Well, like the, the amount? I could, I'm not going to be able to tell you that right oh. now. That's kind of shot in the dark, but I'm just saying, or I'm hearing that um, well, you're not going to have any problems getting the car fixed and they will give you, there will be some kind of, you can, um, there be some kind of medical settlement. Okay. Um, somebody's, again, we need your name. We need, guys, we, we need your name and the name of the person or being you're asking about. Um, my mom is in the ER with pneumonia. Her name is Doris. Will she be okay? She goes home. I'm not she to heaven. Home. She goes home here. She gets out of the hospital. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, Rosemary wants to know, she's been seeing a man named Mark. Will this lead to something more? Well, he likes you. Yeah, he's Good. charming. <laughs> there you go. Listen to his story, Rosemary. Yeah. Well, it's up to you whether it goes somewhere else, right? Um, okay. Uh, hi guys. My son-in-law, Tyler Wilkinson is concerned about his colorectal health. Is there a reason for concern? Now, who is this? Uh, Tyler Wilkinson. He needs to have it checked out. Okay. I recently just passed my colorectal test with flying colors. I think it's got so. some polyps in there. Okay. Um, Wolfcat says she tried lotion 2000 and also take collagen. Okay. Well, wow. Keep, keep taking it. Look into us. Uh, so my mother was a hairdresser. I grew up with a beauty shop built on the end of our home. That was cool. I was painting all the little okay. ladies and uh, nails. Oh, well, mom was doing their hair when I was a little girl. Don't tell anybody I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, <laughs> but she she always says, you know, when if you're having a problem with your hair or your face or your, your skin, whatever it is, look up what the building blocks are to your hair. What are the building blocks of your nails? And then supplement with those things. So we got biotin, we got collagen, we got all these things that go into that. We got, we need protein for the hair. Um, she was always making us, oh, eat your eggs, it'll make your ha hair shiny. You need to listen to these things because there's a lot of wisdom in that. And everything's gotten so complicated over time with all these new supplements and all these lotions and everything else. Just go back to the basics and go find out. You know, so if my skin is thinning, why? A lot of times what I have found from the healings is that it's a, re a reduction in the immune system, 
the strength of the immune system. So we want to strengthen that first and foremost um, to repair and turn these switches back on to give you back the strength in your hair and to grow the hair and the, the elasticity in your skin and turn on the collagen production and all that. So um, feed yourself these things and um, it should repair itself. Okay. Um, Tim uh, would like to know what spirit guide is pulling my spiritual strings? It's a vague question. We don't, I don't know if we can get names. It's you. Okay. Um, Scott says the healing you did on Eric, he got better, uh, enough to go home for Thanksgiving. Well, good. That's oh, great good. news. Good. Scott, little red castle, the Lord castle, $5 a month subscriber. Thank you very much. Um, and midnight moon, 99,000 says, uh, nine, 9900 says oatmeal makes my nails grow like crazy. There you go. Ladies oatmeal. All right. Uh, we're going to slide back over to. The broadcast, you know, this is going to be interesting, Jen. Let's see, let's see if I can. I'm going to try to show uh, show a message, and I can't because I'm not broadcasting. So, all right, so Jen, um, this is. I don't think this is going to let me back in. Something's really screwed up here. Um, Jen, maybe you can do a reading on this. Are they effing with us, or is Cox Cable just a shit cable connection system? Do you have the highest level of connection? I mean, do you pretty have much? Pretty yeah, much? pretty much. Yeah. It's just too many people using the same in your area. Great. Um, Christine Packer um, said that Chester is trying to rest, but he knows something is wrong. He cannot speak right. His brain is not working, cannot walk right. Swallowing is restricted and the pain is unbearable and we're all really sorry to hear that about chester we hope that he gets better soon um and hopefully a lot of those things will fix themselves as as he recovers i'm really sorry to hear that uh christine that's not great news so all right um, well let's um you know i mean I, I'm let's do the giveaways because i have something to say about that okay okay <clears throat> okay, so we asked on te Telegram, and if you don't you don't follow me on Telegram, it's philosophy, F A L L A W S O P H Y on Telegram, and that's, I say lots of things over there, and I interact with everybody, and I put out I put out a post asking people to ask for them or others for free healing gift cards or free reading gift cards, and people have donated. Some people, oh, I'd just like to say. I do appreciate you are loving, giving, wonderful people. Okay. okay. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. Um, now we've got a problem. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> we turn that off. Hang on. I need to hang up on you. I'm trying. Okay. So, please. I'm doing it this time, but it makes everything very complicated. When somebody has purchased a gift card, I have it in the file under a certain name and a gift card. And then they email me, say, please use this gift card and give it to somebody else. But when I do that, I have to make a new gift card with a new number for somebody else. And so please don't, please don't give me your gift cards. Keep them for yourselves. If I don't have enough donations, I'll just give them away for free. Okay. Um, but I, I appreciate that. But it does really make everything complicated in the long run. Um, so, cause I have to go to all the places that I gave you that gift card, mark it off in the file, in the emails. And it's just a lot of work. So just please, um, for now it was fine. Um, and we did have somebody donate three medical intuitive readings plus a free healing. Um, we had somebody donate what I think it was two, um, 30 minute readings and we have all kinds of healings that were donated. And so I was, I think I just about got everybody who commented on Telegram and asked for, asked to win. And I sent those screenshots over to Mike and he's going to announce the winners and post them in the chat. 
Okay, for, uh, first, before we do that, I wanted to say over on Rumble, Kurt Ron has said his wife has the same problem with the cracked hands. And what did he say exactly? It's a nickel allergy. Take vitamin C. That works for her. Okay, so suggestion. Let's try that. Okay, got to get over here, Jen. Slide into the messages. Um sliding into the messages okay da, 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 da. shit god fuck you all right i'm on steroids i haven't i know i just don't want the roid rage to like ignite okay uh there's handwriting on these jen um that tells you what they won if you can't read it i will i okay. will okay, well, I'll go through it with I'll you put them up on screen i'll put them up on screen now. All right, let's do a screen share. Let's go to. Don't put it on the screen. It's really messy. <clears throat> no, no, no. We could actually do a uh, Jennifer Faladori. Um, there we go. Okay, share and then go back over. This is so stupid. It used to just, when I'd hit share, it would share. Now I have to go back and reshare it a second time. Okay. I'll just type the name in chat. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So uh, this is Despina Picunis. Picunis. Um, I need direction. My brother died recently and I feel lost. We had four deaths in two years. You get a 30 minute reading. Despina, congratulations. Now everybody who wins needs to email me at jmfalaw at gmail.com. Go to jenniferfalaw.com. The email is everywhere. Um, and say, I am a winner and give your telegram screen name. Okay. Um, Karen, uh, says, I would appreciate being considered for a free testing for my sister, Amy. She got hurt on the job, still putting, getting PT on physical therapy on her knee. She has lots of pain. Uh, she gets a healing. So free healing. You have one of free healing. You get a free healing. Uh, Debbie Kearns, I would love a healing, had surgery on my foot almost 60 months ago, and the pain is worse now than before the surgery. You get a free healing. Debbie Kearns, congratulations. Uh, Dave Jesse, my sister Lori is in need of healing. She has elevated enzyme in her liver over 2000. I'm not clear what is causing this to be elevated, adding to it uh, all. Our father passed away and she cannot travel to attend the funeral. She's in Colorado and the funeral's in Michigan. Please pray for her. She is very ill. Feel it in your heart to provide the healing she needs. Thank you and God bless you. Get a free healing. Hey, sure Lori, Dave. Hey, Sharon, so. email me to get that. Now, everybody will receive a healing gift card. If you want to use it right then or a reading gift card, then you let me know after that. But but I'm going to present it to you so that I know that that was fulfilled, that I did that. And then we'll go from there to schedule or whatever. Okay. Hey, I have no idea what that means. Barclay does not win today. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> that was actually Bailey. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, Barkley's predecessor, Bailey. Um, Lori Bakemeyer, uh, I love a healing for my daughter, Whitney. I know she really needs this. Thank you for all your kindness. She gets a healing. You win, you win Lori. Lori Bakemeyer. Wendy Jedianak. Jed 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 uh, I'm healing a healing for my sister who was hospitalized for having astronomically high liver enzyme count. She sends. She sounds very sick. When I speak to her, doctors are very concerned and can't find the cause. So she now can't find the cause. This is why you've won a medical reading. That's a half an hour. And then after that, I will tell you what to do to get her a healing. And you can get it on someone else. Might be limited information, but enough to give to her so that she can direct the doctors to find the cause. Mm -hmm. And that's usually why people come to me for the medical reading. So you have won a medical reading plus a healing. Okay, there you go, Wendy. Uh, love is a rose, Jen. I would love a re uh, reading healing, but there's uh, too many in our family that really needs it worse than myself. I would like to take a minute and thank you for everything you do. You're an amazing person. I'm so glad I found you and this family. God bless you and your family. Many blessings to you. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank she you. gets a free medical reading and a healing as well. So good for you. Um, Love is a rose. Get in contact. Love, but I uh, love a healing for my mom who has stage four cancer, having last round of chemo. 
Her name is Cheryl. Blessings to everyone. She gets a healing. Love bug. You get a healing, get in contact with Jen. B. Reese, I would love to request a healing for myself. Barbara. Um, okay, so it's Barbara Reese. Barbara Reese. A torn, a torn rotator cuff in my right arm shoulder that happened a couple months ago. I can't afford surgery and wouldn't go to a hospital if I had the money. I get, I get by with a low dose of ibuprofen, but I have limited range of motion. It's difficult to do a simple task like brushing my hair or raising my arm above my head. Well, I can relate to that because I had a shoulder issue uh, that uh, chiropractors have helped, but you get mm -hmm. a healing bar. Now, I'll do the best I can with that one. Usually that one's... <clears throat> what we can do is is it's it's accelerated cell generation is what we're asking for so that we can mm -hmm. prepare that uh, that cartilage and that takes a while so yeah but I give it to God and Jesus and in, in the healing room when I do it in meditation we'll see what happens but yeah. um, my experience with something like that takes a while yeah if you have a torn if you have a torn muscle it's not probably not going to heal overnight uh, we can try to get that pain maybe we okay. can numb it. Trisha says, I would like to be considered for a free reading. I have numerous chronic health conditions, but the most worrisome is the three uh, aortic aneurysms I have caused from a black label drug I was given in a hospital for pneumonia. I'd like to know if I will live long enough to make it to a med bed. Blessings for all. You get a medical reading plus a healing, Trisha. So, Trisha, get in contact with Jen, jmfala at gmail.com to arrange that. Uh, Hung you. COVID? Kovac. Kovac. I would like to receive a healing for my dear friend and colleague, Catherine. She was diagnosed with a cancer growth in her lungs. She works two jobs, lives in a studio apartment with her son, and is barely keeping up with her bills, but she's always reaching out to me and others with her friendly spirit. She would be very thankful to receive a gift of healing. You get a she absolutely will. healing uh, for your friend, Catherine. That's really sweet. Willard Snow, I'd like to give healings to my friend uh, Tommy Inman, who is suffering from his body's reaction to a T-cell treatment. He has a rare blood ailment. My friend Alan Candle, it seems Alan's cancer may be cured, but the treatment has left him with a terrible inflammatory response, and I haven't heard from him in a couple weeks. You get a healing. Willard, as... Well, I didn't realize that was two people. Just send them to me, Willard. Just send them both. Jimmy, send me both the people in the email. Okay. Uh, Tiala, this healing would be wonderful for my father who in law with lung cancer, who has just told he has three to nine months to live. I'm really sorry. Let's really hope we get med beds before that, but you get a healing. I wish they wouldn't give him a time period like that. Yeah. You, um, we'll do, I do everything I can. You get a Jennifer Fala during med bed today. And, it, and Jen, right. When I said that and thought that I looked down on my phone, a highlight came up and it's 11, 11. So we're going to 11, 11, taking it to Jesus. We're going to take right. it to Jesus, see what we can do. That's right. Jim Foster, I would love a free reading. I lost my eldest son a couple years ago. Now my son, other son is in jail for domestic violence. My wife and I both have very disturbed kids. I would like to ask God why and how to deal with it. You get a 30 we'll talk about it, Jim. Jim, 30 minute reading. Uh, Marin, Miranda Rippey, this month has been a crazy one for my friends and I. My dear friend Anne is 80 years old and she fell last week. She broke her left arm and her right knee. My friend and I have been taking turns caring for her. I've been sick with whatever is floating around. I've been unable to help this week because I can't, because uh, we can't get Anne sick. The gift of healing for Anne would be wonderful. I would like a reading to get some guidance on my next step. Miranda, that's really sweet of you to be doing that. You get a healing. Uh, Got a healing. Got a healing. All right, Jen, and this is the one about. Uh, okay, don't you just ruined it. Oh. Anyway, leave it up there. I'm sorry. Christine Packer. Woman, you are strong. And I know you have been going through a hard time with Chester, and Chester is strong too. Um, people put in requests to get a free healing for Chester. You know, I've been working on him. But, you know, sometimes the strong one needs somebody to support them too. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you guys free for both of you bi-weekly, every other week for the entire year of 2024, free healings mm -hmm. and cleansings for both of you guys. You're going to be my pet project. I'm going to walk through this with you. Okay. Christine. Christine is the one the amazing, good people. Okay. Chester's had some health challenges he's going to make it through it but he's going to need some help and christine has been very strong 
and she is very strong. She's the one who remembers every word I say and writes it down for like three years. And if I could afford to hire her as my personal assistant, I would, but I don't have that kind of money, Christine. But all I can give you right now is this. And so for Chester and you both, every other week for the whole year of 2024, I'm going to do the, my absolute best um, to keep you guys going. And that is from me. No one donated for that because uh, I love you. And I want to do this. Do not send me money, Christine. I will send it back. Yes. Do not. She's a little feisty. She's got a little feist in her. <laughs> I know. I tried to. So, <clears throat> so that is the big winner for today. And you don't have to email me. I already know who you are. I'll email you back when each one of them's done. We're going to start this week. Uh, so you get a little bonus. I think I have one on the books for him already. Um, but. I don't want you to send me any money. I don't want you to worry about it. I'm just going to do everything I can uh, by giving my time and um, taking it to Jesus. And and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, then. Um, don't forget, these videos get taken down almost as soon as they're completed off of the YouTube channels, Mike Barrett 3 and Mike Barrett 333. They do hang around on Mike Barrett 2 for a while. I don't know why they're not suspending me on that. Uh, you can always, however, go to mikebarra.blogspot.com and pick up all of the latest shows. You can also get links on there to uh, lectures of mine, articles I've written. I don't write many articles anymore because we can do video. And uh, also order my books there online. And actually, if you're thinking of ordering them, I would ask you to go to <clears throat> mikebear.blogspot.com and order the books through the links that are available uh, there because I get, I don't know, a couple of bucks out of it. So that is something I definitely appreciate. Dark Mission, uh, The Moon Book, where are, are all my books? Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. There's some other links. I got to fix those. Okay, so mikebear.blogspot.com. Please also do not forget to visit our wonderful sponsors, <clears throat> the CBD Gurus over at the cbdgurus.com. Slide to the wholesale tab. Go down to Mike B. Wholesale. Type in the discount code A-L-I-E-N. You've got some Vietnamese dong currency with the specials below. These are all wholesale prices. The Lotion 2000, the Pet Treats, the Delta 8 Gummies, the Lion's Mane. All kinds of cool stuff. In addition to that, you can also pick up the Mike B Formal Wear, ladies. And you can get yourself some pajama bottoms with my face and Mark Z's face on it. Some Whiskey and Wisdom lounge pants. Some stuff for the kids. And the Be Me Up Bigfoot lounge pants. And I do want to get the, of course, their real ladies tank tops in here pretty soon. I'm trying to work on that with Matt. So go on over to the CBD gurus. They are wonderful people. Matt and Lucas, they're they're fabulous. They're right with us. And they're absolutely wonderful folks. Uh, and Jen, why don't you tell us what is going on over at jenniferfalaw.com? Well, we're all set up for Christmas and Christmas gift cards at jenniferfalaw.com. Now, the giveaway that we just did, you can use this love button here. See that? That will take a card. I repeat, that will take a card. Everybody has to read. Um, so if you're not like big on PayPal, it goes through PayPal, but you can do it with a card. Anyway, if you'd like to donate to the next giveaway, which will be next Wednesday, um, you can do so there. You can give what you want, and I will total up the amounts, and I will um, give out as many healings and readings as I can. And, and you need to be a part of the Philosophy Telegram group uh, to be able to ask for one, yes. Ask for one. So go over to Philosophy and join. I need a gimmick, like, uh, not a gimmick, but I need something like that to get people to join my Telegram group, Jen, because I feel lonely. Sometimes. Yeah, well, you know, free stuff will do it. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm just kidding. Um, one hour, we have got the God rating out again, okay? Remember when I did this before, and it just blew up, and I got so many, and I was booked out for, like, two months now? You know, these are gift cards. Most of them, when I schedule them, will be out, scheduled after Christmas. But this is a lovely thing to give somebody for Christmas, you know, if they are, if they are like mine and open to it, um, talking to God, everybody should be. Um, but this is the God reading, conversation with God. It's one hour. It will not be up forever. It's a limited time offer. Get them while it's still there. 
Um, Marcy, Susan, and I, all three have Thanksgiving combo deals up for gift cards on the site at a cheap price. Take advantage of that now. I'm going to talk to the ladies and see what we're going to do next for the Christmas combo. Or I have no idea, but this is a Thanksgiving combo. It will be up at least through the weekend. Okay. Um, and that's all I know. Okay. That is what's going on over at jenniferfalla.com. Slide on over there and pick up um, pick up those uh, specials. Let's see if there's anything left over here on Rumble. Uh, anybody new? A AJ Patriot 99. Thanks, Mike, for everything you do and having your show every week. It's giving us so much information. We, you know, some people do it every day. Mark does it every day. I can't do it every day. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, doing two or three times a week is uh it, it's gratifying and it's like knowing that you're making a contribution and you're getting um from Jen, you know, you're getting stuff that you don't get from anybody else. You're getting stuff directly from a source that is- And uh, lots of it. That is divine. And lots of it. You can't say we have <laughs> a lot of content today on the show. I'm a giver. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Jen, do we have any time to go through questions? I really got to get going. We got to get going. I, I apologize to everybody because of the mishap, the problem that we had with technology. We were not able to get to your questions today, but- uh, We'll try to get it to, to you on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, love all you guys. And I, I probably will be doing Whiskey and Wisdom tonight. Mark usually invites me, so I'll probably be on tonight. We might also be joined by Andy Sheckman of um, the, the uh, Gold and Silver Seller. What's the name of his company? I can't remember Andy's company's name. Um, anyway, but um, something metals. <laughs> so, anyway. Money metals exchange? Uh, not many metals exchange. No, okay. That's well, I don't know. Andy's competitors. Thanks for advertising this competitor. <laughs> anyway, we'll be on tonight, probably having a little drink or something, chit chatting. I'm assuming I'm going to be on with Mark tonight. And, um, everybody hang in there. Let's see what happens. Let's hope that it's a busy week. I will see you guys back here also on Friday. Jen and I will be back on Monday. We love you all. Have a great couple of days.